Well, hello there. My name is Rodrigo, and in today's review, we're talking about noise. N no, not that noise. Video noise. The Sony a7S II is a night shooting beast. It can technically operate at over 400,000 ISO, which is mind-blowing when you think that most cameras can't even touch 10,000 ISO. Now, that being said, the gain or noise introduced at over 400,000 is horrid and unusable professionally. So I really don't ever go above 20,000 ISO, and even that's in extreme cases. See, noise starts to easily be introduced from 10,000 ISO. And for me, professionally speaking, it looks amateur if your videos are grainy and has that manufactured look, even if it is night shooting. So how do we get around this? We can add lights, or we can shoot in well-lit places. But we all know there are those situations where you can't do more than crank up the ISO and hope for the best. Well, that was until neat video came along. Now I do love that word, neat. It can mean to tidy, to tuck, to organize, or to clean up. Neat Video is a plugin for Premiere Pro that does more or less what the product name says. It makes your grainy overcrank video look a little neater. Neat Video is super easy to use. Find the clip you want to reduce the noise. Search for the Neat Video effect. I use the SR version more as I find it's faster and has better overall performance. Drag the Neat Video plugin to your clip. Go across to your effects controls tab and navigate to the reduce noise plugin. Then press prepare. Now hit build, which will open the Neat Video dialog. In here, press auto profile. And if you're not happy with the area Neat Video has selected, then you can drag the box or resize it to cover the most noisy area you see. For best results, don't make the box too small or too large and select the darkest or most grainy area with the same tone throughout, like I have done here. Now, if you want, you can fiddle with the various settings to get it exactly how you want such as increasing the sharpness and increasing the luminosity, but I generally set the luminosity noise reduction to about 30 to 40 percent. Then hit apply. Boom, it's done. And you can instantly see the change to your clip. Pretty amazing, isn't it, when you look at the before and after. You can run the plugin any number of times as you see fit, but be sure to render the clip once you are happy. That's it. It's quick easy to use and reliable. But wait, let's look at an extreme case where we've cranked the ISO to godforsaken heights and see how neat video performs. What do you think? Good, great, amazing, or is it mediocre? Let me know down in the comments. Neat video works on every kind of clip you can throw at it. Drone footage, time lapses, Stills, moving stills, audio files. It doesn't work on audio files. Why would it work on audio files? But it works on everything else, and that's amazing. I find it works best on shorter clips, around 10 to 15 seconds, as the render timer and processing speed varies quite a bit for longer clips. The longest clip I've comfortably used it on was about 45 seconds to a minute. That being said, you should be able to use it on longer clips, but I wouldn't advise if there's a lot of vision changing in your clip, such as like a bumpy driving shot, or if there's a lot of light source changes, these will not have the best results. Okay, it is worth mentioning that Neat Video is a premium product. It's on the expensive side, coming in at around 130 US dollars for a subscription that's limited to one machine. Now, considering the high cost of Neat Video, it's clearly not for everyone. Though, in Neat Video's defense, it's targeted at the professional video editing market. The main issue with the cost is that it's a little deceptive. See, I paid for what I thought was a lifetime subscription to Neat Video. However, in the last eight or nine months of having this license, I've seen probably one or two very small incremental updates that didn't add any notable changes or additions. So I was a little surprised when I got an email from Neat Video talking about the changes with version 5.0. It looked amazing. So I quickly went to download the new version only to be hit with a bill of 70 US dollars. This is on top of the 130 US dollars I had paid last year. So thanks a lot. Now the $70 price tag is with a 50% discount for being an existing customer of Neat Video. 
which is really kind of a backhanded compliment. You know, that means that I've spent around 200 US dollars on this very powerful plugin in the last year. On top of this, I also have to either use a credit card or PayPal, which incurs an additional cost for currency conversion as they only accept euros or US dollars. So if you're like me and you live in Australia, you're paying that Australia tax. Neat video never mentioned that I would have to pay more, but considering this is a very small plugin, the cost is on the avaricious side. I could use version 4.8.3 for now, but we all know that older versions of software are seldom supported once a new version is out. So I've made the switch to version 5. So what's changed with version 5? Well, for one, there's significant speed improvements. It's up to 3.5 times faster rendering. There's also better noise reduction. There's a new flicker filter, which helps to reduce both local and frame flicker. There's also a new jitter of details filter. This tool aids with the distracting trembling of objects in the scene. This is often caused by heat haze and video compression. There's an improved dust and scratch filter. Sharpening has also been improved, with refined controls to make sharpening a breeze. There's also a playback function, so you can watch the video within Neat Video, instead of just looking at the one frame. And finally, there's adjustable generic noise profiles. I haven't used these yet, but it seems like a good idea. If you want to check out Neat Video, I put a link in the description below. I'm not affiliated with Neat Video, and I don't get a commission for any clicks. However, if you'd like to support my channel, perhaps you'd like to check out some of the equipment I use in making these videos. Links are down below. Do you use Neat Video, or do you have another game-changing plugin? Let me know down in the comments. I love learning about powerful software that helps improve our projects. If you like my video, why not give it a thumbs up? And if you like my content, why not subscribe and be sure to ping that little bell so you never miss a video from me. Thanks for watching guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now. I hope you couldn't hear that, it was like rattling. I usually, see that? I usually tape over the ends. Uh, but I took it off for some reason. Mm -hmm.